Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com, and this is part three of my three-part series of videos on how to make a small Newtonian reflector telescope like this right here. And this is the final part, and uh, in this part I show you how to make the mount, the pedestal mount that the telescope goes on. And uh, let me see if I can move this away from the wall, but what happens is the telescope goes up and down like that, of course, and it also rotates on its base. See it? So kind of nice, easy project, four and a quarter inch mirror, and I just use a few basic supplies like uh, PVC piping, a couple of plumbers fittings, PVC fittings, and some wood and some little bit of hardware, so nuts and screws and stuff like that. Fun project, easy to use. It's in two parts. It comes apart, so you can easily you know store it or or take it, throw it in the car or say the tube part and the pedestal part. So a couple of things. I also wanted to say um, I have a, a lot more projects. I have another telescope project coming up with a larger mirror right here, eight-inch mirror. It's really going to be a nice project. That'll be a lot of fun, but a little more complex than this one. And I'm currently working on, you know, I do weapons and stuff like that. And actually, I'm currently working on chainmail. So I'll be doing a tutorial or two about how to make chain mail. Kind of fun. Well, so let's, uh, in a moment we'll launch right into the tutorial on how to make this pedestal base and the setup for the telescope. But I wanted to say thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up or leave a comment. Give me a project idea or something like that. Um, you know, share this with your friends. And, uh, you know, thank you very much. So let's launch a tutorial on how to make the pedestal mount for a reflector telescope. Dioramas, origami, cat, pulse, and treasure shades, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blocks, fifteen model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, let's put together this telescope uh, pedestal. It's pretty easy. We start out with a 26-inch piece of uh, PVC piping, just 3-inch PVC piping, and a 3-inch coupling. You can buy these at Home Depot, Lowe's, any place like that. It's really couple of books. Put the coupling on the end of the tube. That'll be the base where the feet go. So now let's take a look at the feet. And I have more drawings and, and dimensions on my website. Uh, this is about 8 inches by 3 inches. No, nothing real fancy here. And I put little um, furniture mounts on the bottom of them for the feet. See? Just right there. I'll make three of them, of course. Now the secret to getting the feet onto the base is this. Each foot has two screw holes to keep it nice and tight. And so that means six, there's six screw holes in this uh, PVC pipe, but you also need six more holes as clearance holes. See the clearance holes there? So you can reach the screwdriver in there and screw down the feet. But piece of cake, screw those feet on and you're good to go. Now on the top of this, we're going to use two couplings. Uh, this is a, uh, a male and a female. And see that t turning action is what allows us to turn this telescope. You'll see in a, in a second here. The, um, the actual yoke will go on like this. See? Now we can uh, put a, a reducer on it and then turn it. That reducer is a 3 inch to 2 inch reducer. And we would put a couple of bolts, screws in there to hold this down tight so it doesn't come undone. But still rotates cleanly. And um, this base here is 11 inches wide and 7 inches to the very end there. So it's 11 by 7. And these, um, these walls is um, are 7 inches high and 11 inches from the end to the very end and you'll get a better look at that but I just cut these out of pine it's plenty strong for this there's going to be two drill holes and that's where the telescope mounts right in there like that so see there you go see that gives you a good look now you know what the yoke looks like so let's make the um, brackets it's the mounting brackets for the yoke that go in the telescope. And one important thing here is the center line is that you put these brackets so the, the eyepiece is offset at a 45 degree angle. That way when it sits in the telescope, that eyepiece is pointing at a nice angle, easy to see. See that? And these, these, these brackets are mounted on the center of gravity of the telescope. They're not in, it's not in the center of the telescope, it's at the center of gravity. So with the mirror and everything mounted in it, Find about where the middle is in terms of weight, so one side is heavy as the other. For me, it's um, 19 inches from the mirror end. So 
So let's take a look at those two brackets. They are just bolted right onto the tube using um, 832 screws with nuts and washers. Here's the bracket. That uh, main, this the bracket is five inches by an inch and a half, and that main bolt there is a quarter 20 flathead that's three inches long. That's what sits in the actual yoke. But see how that's flat like that? So it can sit against the telescope. So simple as that. You make up two of those and then mount them down to the telescope at the center of gravity approximately. Easy enough. We're just about done. All we got to do is put it on the yoke now. You have to open up one of the legs like that. I have only one bolt holding that yoke on the far end there. And then you close it on the, on the telescope. You can put the wing nuts on it. Those wing nuts are great because then you can tighten them up a little bit to keep good friction on the telescope so it stays in place. That's it. Pretty piece of cake here. We just need to put a couple more screws in the bottom of that yoke we had opened up. That one on the far side. And we're pretty much done. You can paint this thing up and you're good to go. Nice little telescope. Cheap and easy. A few pieces of wood. Some pipe from uh, Home Depot. A couple of couplings. And that's it. See? Tighten it like that so it has nice friction and you can rotate that telescope. Nice little project. Easy enough. Lots more stuff on my website, stormtocastle.com, telescopenerd.com, and here on my YouTube channel, Epic Fantasy. I'm going to use my telescope uh, indoors. Yeah. Thanks for watching.